Welcome. Let's talk about the future of the automotive industry. It's no secret that legacy automakers such as GM and Ford are struggling as EV adoption nears. You may have come across the headlines where Ford CEO admits that he's shocked at the pace of EV adoption and that Tesla has crashed before. Renowned money manager Kathy Wood, who has been historically loyal to Tesla, recently made a massive change in her stance on legacy automaker GM, which came as a surprise to many of us. In a surprising turn of events, Kathy Wood's ARK Investment Management has recently invested in GM. With Wood's changed stance on GM and GM's recent struggles, the success or failure of Wood's new position on GM is sure to have a big impact in industry perceptions for years to come. In this video, we'll be exploring why Wood's prediction is so significant, what it means for the broader auto industry, and how Tesla's recent price cuts fit into the picture. But before we get going, smash that like and subscribe button first. Don't forget that notification bell too. Wood predicts that Tesla's stock could reach an astonishing $3,000 by 2025. This prediction is not only impressive, but also highlights the potential challenges that traditional auto companies such as GM and Ford may face in the coming years as they try to compete with the newer, more innovative companies. This prediction is in a stark contrast to more bullish views held by other analysts such as Morningstar's David Whitston, who has a fair value of $68 for GM stock. In a recent interview with Sandy Monroe, Ford CEO Jim Farley admitted that the company had fallen behind the eight ball when it came to EVs. Farley said that he wanted to address the achievement of Henry Ford in winning the world by creating an affordable car for everyone and how Ford now seeks to emulate this strategy to navigate the current market trends in China where digital EVs products are gaining more popularity. With China being the largest market in the world and exporting to countries like the Netherlands and Norway, Farley said it's crucial to recognize that Ford's success will depend on offering products at different price points, not just high-end ones. In the 70s, Farley said he observed GM's market share drastically decline from 60% to nearly nothing, while Toyota, previously with no market share, soared to the top due to producing the cars that people wanted. Therefore, Farley thinks that considering the entire market, not just a limited portion of it, is the winning strategy. On the other hand, Ford believed that they could compete in the sedan and hatchback market, but Ford's business in Europe struggled, and they discovered their strength lies in the pickup truck industry with Maverick. They focus on areas where we understand the customer well, ensuring our innovations resonate with them. Farley admitted that Ford are currently in second place, just behind Tesla, with only 6.2% of the EV market share. However, he mentioned Ford should be proud of their 95% electric advance. But while Kathy may not believe Farley and Ford in a surprising turn of events, Woods ARK Invest Management has purchased over 150,000 shares of General Motors, GM, for its autonomous technology and robotics fund, ARKQ. This purchase represents a significant shift in Woods' perspective on traditional automakers, as she had previously been critical of their ability to keep up with innovation. This move comes after Wood's team met with General Motors CEO Mary Barra to discuss the company's electric vehicle plans. During an interview with Yahoo Finance, Wood revealed that ARC was considering investing in GM and was keeping an open mind about it. Wood's decision to invest in GM is significant as it shows that even a renowned stock picker known for her bets on high growth technology companies is recognizing the potential of legacy automakers and the rapidly evolving auto industry. It also demonstrates that GM's efforts in electric vehicles and autonomous technology are being noticed and could potentially pay off in the future. Wood's investment in GM is not only a positive sign for the company, but also for the broader auto industry. It indicates that traditional automakers can adapt to the changing landscape and remain competitive, especially in areas such as electric vehicles and autonomous technology. It also highlights the potential for collaboration between legacy automakers and newer innovative companies like Tesla. The move by ARK Investment Management is also a reminder that investing in the stock market is not just about picking winners, but also about being open to new opportunities and changing perspectives. As the auto industry continues to evolve, investors will need to keep an open mind and consider a range of factors when making investment decisions. According to Kathy Wood, Tesla's recent price cuts are not a threat to the brand, but rather a challenge for other automakers attempting to keep up. 
Wood believes that these price cuts are due to Tesla's cost leadership in battery technology and that other automakers must switch to this technology to stay competitive and avoid losses. These price cuts are not a sign of weakness for Tesla, but rather a strategic move that will likely strengthen its position in the market. As other automakers struggle to keep up with Tesla's pricing, the company will continue to gain market share and expand its reach. In addition to the benefits of spreading fixed costs and negotiating better deals with suppliers, economies of scale can help Tesla gain a competitive advantage in the market. As the company produces more electric vehicles, it can lower its prices to attract more customers, which can help it gain market share. This in turn can lead to more sales volume, allowing Tesla to achieve even greater economies of scale and strengthen its position in the market. What's more, as Tesla continues to increase its production volume, it can invest more in research and development to improve its products and develop new strategies. This can further enhance its competitive advantage, making it more difficult for other automakers to catch up. Despite the positive outlook of Cathy Wood, there are some professionals on Wall Street who hold a different view on Tesla's recent price cuts. They are concerned that these price reductions may have a negative impact on the company's brand value in the long run and may even hurt its profit margins. Some analysts argue that Tesla's brand has been built on the perception of luxury and exclusivity, which could be compromised by lower prices. Some critics also point out that Tesla's ability to continue to lower prices could be constrained by increasing costs in the supply chain or battery production. On the other hand, Tesla supporters argue that the company's cost leadership in battery technology and economies of scale will allow it to maintain its margins while reducing prices. They also believe that lower prices will enable the company to expand its market share and continue to innovate in the EV space. Yes, it's true that legacy automakers have been slow to embrace new technologies, particularly electric vehicles. And that is one reason why Cathy thinks they're in trouble. Tesla has been a leader in this area, investing heavily in EV technology and developing high quality, affordable electric cars that have gained popularity among consumers. In contrast, many legacy automakers have been hesitant to invest in EVs and have continued to focus on gas-powered cars, which has put them at a disadvantage in the rapidly evolving automotive industry. One reason for this slow adoption of new technologies is the complex and capital-intensive nature of the automotive industry. Legacy automakers have long-standing relationships with suppliers and dealerships, and changing their business model to incorporate new technologies can be difficult and expensive. Additionally, they may be reluctant to invest in EVs due to concerns about the high cost of battery technology and the lack of charging infrastructure. However, as consumer demand for EVs continues to grow, legacy automakers are starting to invest more heavily in EV technology. Many have announced plans to launch new electric models and to phase out gas-powered cars over the coming years. While they may still have some catching up to do in terms of innovation, legacy automakers are beginning to recognize the importance of bracing new technologies to stay competitive in the marketplace. This is yet another key factor that Wood believes is contributing to the challenges faced by legacy automakers. New players in the industry such as Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid Motors are focused on developing electric vehicles and have attracted significant investment. These companies are disrupting the traditional automotive industry and challenging legacy automakers to adapt to the changing market. In addition to competition for new players, legacy automakers are also facing regulatory challenges. Governments around the world are implementing stricter emissions regulations, which will make it more difficult for car manufacturers to continue producing gas-powered cars. At the same time, regulators are pushing for greater investment in EVs, which will further pressure legacy automakers that have been slow to make the transition. To stay competitive in this changing landscape, legacy automakers will need to invest heavily in new technologies and adapt their business models to meet the demands of consumers and regulators. This may require significant changes to their supply chain, manufacturing, processes, and marketing strategies, but it is essential if they want to remain relevant in the automotive industry. That's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.